Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and perfectly blend curly hair clip-ins. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. The curly hair clippings that I'm going to be using for this video are from a company called Kinkistry. Um, this video is not sponsored. I've been wanting to try out curly hair clippings for a while now and this company just kept popping up on my explore page on IG so I just decided to give them a shot. Um, and this is what the package looks like when it arrives in the mail. It comes with a care instructions card telling you how to care for the hair. And then um, I purchased two bundles of the Curlgenics clip-in extensions in the size 24. Um, and right after I take them out, this is what the hair looks like. It's pretty shrunken, but it will expand once you wash it. So I'm going to go ahead and co-wash it. I'm using the Lotta Body Co-Wash. I just had this left over. You can use any co-wash. Um, and I'm really making sure that I really focus on detangling the hair properly. I finger detangle the hair first um, to try to get as many of the knots out as possible. And then I followed that up with a Denman brush. And as you um, detangle the hair, you can definitely start to see the curls pop, which is really, really cool. Once you've completely detangled, this is what the hair looks like. As you can see, you can definitely see the curl definition a lot more now. And I am stretching out just a little bit so you guys can see the full length. This is what my braiding pattern is going to be under the clip-in extensions. I'm only leaving out a pretty small area of leave out um, right in the center and then the two braids right in the front just so that I will be able to blend my edges um, and you won't be able to see the clips. But everything else I'm just going to bobby pin back um, like we would normally do. And your braiding pattern doesn't have to be super perfect or super neat. Whichever way works best for you, you can do straight backs if that works. Um, this is what the back of my head looks like. As you can see, my parts are not super neat. It honestly really doesn't matter because nobody should see this part of your head anyway. <laughs> So when you're starting in the back, you're going to start with the longest clip-in that you get in the pack. So this clip-in comes with four clips and it goes across the nape of your neck. And in this particular pack, uh, one bundle will have about two or three clip-ins, um, each having four, three, two, or one um, actual clip on them. So in order to get a full set of uh, a full head of hair, you're probably going to need two packs for sure. Um, if you're just looking to add a little bit, bit of volume, um, then you might be able to get away with one pack. But since I wanted to cover my full head, I went ahead and bought two packs. You're just going to keep working around your head, installing the clip-ins all the way around until you get to the top. Um, and then you're going to, once you get to the top, you're going to focus on the blending process, which honestly is my favorite part. 
So this is what it looks like once all of the clip-ins are installed. The hair is looking fluffy and cute. Honestly, you can wear it just like this, but I wanted a little bit more curl definition. So I went ahead and went in with um, some water and just going to wet it just a little bit because I'm going to apply some curl defining product. Guys, this hair is so soft. I highly, Like I said, this video is not sponsored, but I highly recommend checking out Kinkistry um, if you are interested in curly hair clip-ins because I am literally obsessed with this hair. So I'm going to go in with the Miel Organics um, Pomegranate Curl Definer. I was having a bit of trouble opening the bottle, but once I got it open, I just used the little prayer hands methods to apply that to the hair and then just went through and raked it through. You want to really, really focus on getting uh, enough product on the ends of the hair because as you can see, the ends are the fluffiest part and they can get tangled um, pretty quickly. So. I definitely recommend like focusing on making sure you saturate the ends with a lot of product to help define them because when they're defined, um, they don't really tangle as much. Once all my product is installed, this is what the hair is looking like. And I did go ahead and use the diffuser to dry the hair off screen. Um, I didn't show you guys that because I didn't have an outlet near me where I could show you guys. But this is what the hair looks like when it's dry. And now I'm just going to go in and take down my braids and the twist that I had um, to section off my leave out. And as you guys can see, the I braided my hair, um, but these clip-ins are really, really close to my own natural texture. Like, it blends pretty much perfectly. And I'm not exactly sure. If you go to the Kinkistry website, they will tell you exactly what curl type the clip-ins are. I'm not 100% sure what the curl type is for these, but I will um, check the uh, instruction card and I'll leave that information in the description box. So at this point, I'm just going in and un unraveling the twist that I use to um, d make like some little ringlet curls or whatever. Um, so I can kind of get bangs sort of. I thought I wanted bangs, but then you guys will see, I actually changed my mind and decided to do a, a side part, which is like my signature. I love wearing side parts, but to cur define the curls a little bit more, I went in and used some more of the Mio Organics on my hair just to go in and shingle a bit um, and finger coil to get them to match the clip-ins perfectly. First, gotta lay those edges so I'm using this 24 hour hold um, edge control and honestly this is my favorite edge control if I'm not using this I'm just using the regular plain um, olive, I think it's the olive oil the green bottle of eco styler but yeah I've been reaching for this more than my eco styler jeller and please ignore the faces that I'm making right now. This is my concentration face. It's always funny when I um go and, and edit to see exactly what I look like on screen. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're doing this, you're not looking at yourself. So it's always funny when I go back and edit and I'm like, why was I making that face? But let's just call it concentration. <laughs> um. So, yeah, like I said, I just went in and made myself a nice little side part and made sure that I blended the hair. And the final thing that I did, because the curls, I liked how defined they were, but they were a little too uniform for me. So I went in and teased the hair and fluffed it out a bit just so I can get more volume and get more of like the curly Afro look. And once I did this step, I feel like this step really, really did help it blend with my natural hair better. 
um, because it was a little bit more messy, a little bit more fluffy and lively. Um, and you can even see that on screen, like the difference between the left side and the right side. And I didn't want to fast forward this part because I want you guys to really see like you got to take a little bit of time in order to blend your hair perfectly. Um, so don't be afraid to go in and tease and like pull the curls apart and do whatever you need to do to get it to look exactly how you want it. Yeah, once it's all done, this is the final look. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave me a huge thumbs up. I definitely uh, appreciate when you guys support my channel. Leave me a comment. Are you planning to uh, invest in some curly clip-ins? Do you have some already? What brands do you guys usually buy your clip-ins from? Let me know. If you are interested in this hair, I will make sure that I link it in the description box. Uh, this hair, like I said, is from Kinkistry, and I love it. I definitely recommend it. Um, and if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then you might as well subscribe because like sis, I mean, come on, you know, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.